Climate change has hit home. Across the globe, our homes, our lives, the things we love, under siege. This is the cost of inaction. This is the cost of carbon. First, we have to accept the fact that climate change is real. I've talked to homeowners who have dealt with serious floods three, four, five times over the past few years. We want to buy out those homeowners who don't want to rebuild and want to move on to higher ground. This is our little community. Well, was our little community, I should say. What's this here? This is our old house that's currently being bought out by the government. So it's still ours for probably the next month, and then hopefully it will not be ours anymore. Do you remember this house? Huh? <laughs> the water was up to here, up to my shoulder. And then I get to the attic, and I started seeing it come up higher and higher. Eventually, it came to here. And um, on the sheetrock here, I had a line saying that if it comes to there, I'm swimming out. Well, I knew I was trapping myself. I had no other choice. The only place to go was up, you know. He said once. he thought he never was going to see us again. Yeah. I can't even believe this. Oh, my god. When we came back, I don't know, a week, two weeks, I don't even remember anymore. And I uh, came in big, big packages of paper towels and disinfected and walked into the house. I stood there about to clean and realized there was nothing to clean. Couldn't clean. What are we going to clean? What are we going to do here? It hit me like a lightning bolt that we weren't going to be able to come back home. Before these floods, there were these incredible fires with just red blazes on the mountain, and you had to be at, ready to leave at any time. And now we're in galoshes all the time. It's just from one disaster to the next. The fires are ultimately what's triggering this because they're about a mile up this canyon. There's nothing but burnt trees. So what happens up here is it's about a three square mile bowl of ridge lines that feeds into this canyon. All that water collects. There's nothing to stop it. There's no trees for it to catch, no grass to hold the soils in place. And it all just flows down. And we've had someone killed up on the pass here because every time it rains now, it flash floods, and it actually takes cars and just washes them back down the hill with people trapped inside of them, so. And that never used to happen. I'm sitting in my little yellow cottage. All of a sudden, water starts gushing into my, in the window, my living room window, like a fire hose, and it just sweeps me away. Right after the hospital, I, I went back up there, but I found out that my whole cottage was gone, the whole thing. So I don't really want to go back up there again.
pues aquí tenemos las muestras que hemos tenido de los animales que se nos han muerto. Aquí está, pues miren, prácticamente pues, todo un esqueleto donde no tenían que comer. La tierra está seca, mi. Que no hay humedad para la planta, porque hubo poca lluvia. Siempre nosotros hemos vivido del campo, siempre nos hemos mantenido de, de, de lo que cosechamos. De ahí sacamos para comprar lo de, los demás alimentos. Antes yo cosechaba 3, 4, 5, 6 toneladas de maíz y frijol. Y ahora como ya nada, no llueve. Por toda la sequía que, que se nos ha venido de años con año, ya tenemos bastantes años. Desgraciadamente, así estamos. Cuando no hay cosecha, pues tenemos que salir fuera a buscar la manera de cómo vivir. Por ejemplo, aquí en nuestra comunidad, ahorita vemos un monto de 1,600 habitantes. Estamos hablando ya de unos dos años y medio para atrás, habíamos como unos 4,800 habitantes y toda esa gente se nos está yendo de aquí. Por cuestión de lo que dicen a los científicos, de que hay un cambio, que hay todo, pues no hay necesidad de que lo veamos allá en, de los científicos, que se nos digan. Lo estamos viendo personalmente aquí, que no nos llueve. Pues yo al ver mío, yo lo miro que, a lo que al paso de que vamos, yo creo que vamos a llegar a un pueblo fantasma. Ways of life we've known for generations destroyed by climate change. We are already paying the price of carbon. The time for action is now. <laughs>